Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny here and welcome to another episode of The Sick Show. And as always, I'm super pumped to be here. I'm here with my main man, B. How are you, my brother? I'm feeling like I want to hack photography today. <laughs> That's great. This week on the show, we interview awesome commercial photographer Mike Newton and he and find out about the beard. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> he actually inspires us with a an amazing uh, double page spread out of a magazine from his uh, commercial photography photographing a restaurant and how he actually did it. And then he gives us all sorts of commercial photography tips. That's awesome, man. Let's get into it, guys. Awesome. Enjoy. The Six Show. Share, inspire, create.com. Share. All right, Mike, share something with us that not many people know about you. Well, it's probably fairly obvious by looking at me, but uh, the, the beard is getting quite long. I decided that when I quit my job at the end of October of 2013, since I didn't really need to be professionally presentable anymore, that uh, I would decide to stop shaving for a month. It was kind of getting into the, the no-shave November. Yeah. And I made it, made it through that and thought, all right, I'm about to leave to go on a little five-week vacation to the Midwest to visit family. Maybe I'll just shave when I get back. And then after that, I just decided, you know, let's, let's let it go a year. Yeah. And I hit the year and decided, okay, maybe let's see if we can get this thing to my waist. <laughs> so <laughs> so the, maybe it's, it's adding to the photographer mystique, right? The, the artist look. But uh, I, uh, I decided I'm going to grow the beard down to oh, the waist. Awesome. So, might, might as well. Once in my life, it'd be something yeah, fun. So to tell do. me, when you when you going to join the band ZZ Top? You know, thank you for for knowing that <laughs> reference. It's uh, there's almost this like this age yeah. gap where everybody, myself included, above a certain age, it's always the ZZ yeah, right. Top reference. Everyone below, it's it's Duck okay. Dynasty. <laughs> so <laughs> that's uh, that seems to be the you know the thing that kind of gives away your age, just depending on yeah. what. So is there you use. is there going to be a time when you actually shave it? Is there some kind of event or? life you know i don't thing. i don't have one okay. planned but uh i don't know i just want to put it in one big giant braid and then just just kind of okay. leave it awesome well thanks for yeah. sharing that mike yeah absolutely inspire all right mike inspire us with uh, some of your amazing images sure so i think maybe the first one to discuss is probably the one of the einstein bagels okay. location um this was a really fun one in that the image itself isn't necessarily super remarkable. It was mostly shot in, uh, in natural light. I was using a, um, a 17 millimeter tilt shift because with all my uh, architecture and interior photography, I have to do that to keep all the lines true and straight. What was exciting about it was they found me through my website because I had kind of found my little niche of doing restaurant photography. Yep. And really the most exciting part about it is I got paid 3000 bucks for that one single wow. image. And it was kind of a fun day because they, in addition, flew me from San Diego, California, where, where I live, up to Boise, Idaho, literally to come up and shoot one single image, board a flight, and then come back home. Uh. So it was really, really fun in that, you know, commercial photography, which I'd, I'd love to teach more people about, uh, can be really rewarding. It was really fun. They were super happy about it. And really, that image was shot for the specific point of they were going to be running an ad in a magazine that was a, an industry magazine. Yep. So really, I mean, it was a pretty simple shot. It, it really wasn't anything miraculous. Um, but just the use case of the fact that it had commercial benefit because they were going to be running an ad campaign with it, I was able to charge a license and, and really make the day, you know, very awesome. profitable. So that is that like a day rate for you, the $3,000? So typically what I like to do is I like to do a $2,000 okay. day rate. Um, and then on top of that, it was just licensing for a one month, um, industry magazine, you know, one page okay. ad type awesome. of thing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's typically what I find is a good, good starting point. And of course you can certainly break that into uh, a half day or quarter day yeah, things sure. like that. Well, so, I love that image, Mark. The, the conversation. No, no, oh, sorry, I just go love ahead. that image. It's very clean. I mean, I shot a lot of real estate in, indoor real estate stuff and yeah, it's just perfect. It's, mm -hmm. it's nicely, brightly lit. It definitely shows the the bagel um, shop, the the retail store, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, awesome. Did you uh, shoot that without people on purpose? Well, yes, they wanted it okay. empty, 
because they wanted to kind of show off the location. There, this this woman that I worked with, the client, her part of the business is. I can't remember what they called it. It was something like non-typical uh, avenues or non-typical revenues. So rather than putting them in malls and things like that, she's in charge of putting them in interesting venues like airports, for nice. example. So they were going to be running a the ad in Airport Revenue News. It's an entire industry magazine just for people who are looking to open up businesses in airports. So it's hyper-specific, oh. really, really specific. But um, they wanted to kind of show off the location without people. So the only challenge was it was a fairly busy day. It was on a Sunday when I flew up. And I only had about two hours to get that shot, which still gave me plenty of time. But ultimately, I had to kind of set up the shot. I brought my laptop with me. I always shoot oh, wow. tethered okay. to the laptop. Interesting. So I was able to really kind of make sure that I could see the image yeah. properly at every respect of it by okay. zooming in. And then I just kind of set up the... Um, set up my camera on a tripod and just kind of had to wait it out ultimately. And that's actually a composite of a couple different images because it was so busy. I never actually got the space where it was totally yeah. empty across the whole oh, wow. spot. So I would shoot this spot and then, you know, later on I'd have to blend in this side to make sure that there weren't people in both. And it was kind of a little tricky to make sure the exposure was perfect on both sides. Cause as the sun starts coming down, it can obviously change yeah. that. So it was a little tricky, but it, it came I together. That's what end. commercial photography is all about, you know, getting getting the product yeah. or getting the actual uh, image that the, the client wants, you know, even though you've got right. all these um, uh, restrictions with people and light and everything. Awesome. Well, let's let's jump exactly. to another one, uh, Mike. So which, which one do you want to talk about next? So that was a really fun shoot. So that was an actual um, – that was a first for me. That was the first magazine cover, wow. which is always exciting for a yeah. photographer. <laughs> And I shot these images for the designer. So the, uh, the designer is incredible. Their name is Davis Inc. And that's I-N-K because Davis himself is kind of a rockabilly dude, real big yeah. buff guy. He's probably you know, early, mid forties, slick back hair, just sleeve tattoos, you know, thick black frame gla glasses. And so it's Davis and he has a lot of ink. <laughs> so it's a, it's a real cool name. It's a very Southern California yeah. thing. Uh, but he's a hell of a designer, and typically, um, he does a lot of very high-budget bars, restaurants, and clubs in Southern California. So companies will come to him in order to really design the whole interior, exterior, all the furniture, a lot of custom-made stuff. And the venue in, in case, uh, in this example, was called Park, P-A-R-Q, and it's a nightclub slash restaurant that took over a previous um, nightclub and restaurant. This thing's huge. I think it's, I want to say it's 10,000, 20,000 square feet. I mean, it's, it's a big venue. Wow. Uh, it used to be a big giant bank that they converted. But uh, I don't know what the budget is, but it was high, high millions wow. of dollars. Okay. <laughs> so it was, it was fantastic to shoot. And it was really tricky to shoot. Uh, the cover was shot in the restaurant portion. And that's actually a, a wall, a big giant kind of grass wall with a big mirror in it that looks back into the bar. And it was really fun and tricky to shoot to make sure that I didn't show up in the reflection. Okay, yeah. So, so I was shooting directly into a mirror and then getting the reflection behind wow. me. Okay. So I, I had to clone out a part of my camera. So if, if I'm showing here on the screen, I mean, I was like right here on the edge of the frame and kind of had to clone that, that oh, wow. out of there. So you're, but you're, they, so you're on the shoot. inside there shooting out, right? Is that right? Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm shooting inside the club into a mirror, trying to bounce it back into the rest of the, the eating oh, okay. space. Right. So it was really cool. Um, but it was very, very tricky because if you've ever shot into a mirror and not tried yeah. to show up, <laughs> it's kind of impossible. Yeah. So uh, it'd kind of work around that one, but they chose that one for the awesome. cover. And then the next image is the one that's inside the spread uh, inside that's detailing the restaurant. It's a big kind of double page yep. wide. Uh, layout and that was the the main eating space and that place was incredible that was so difficult of a shot um, it may look like it's very naturally lit but that's a composite of about nine different images to come up with that yeah, final how do you shot get the white balance right there so the white balance i shot i shot that i actually just let it auto okay. white balance but the trickiest part was that there wasn't a whole lot of light inside the space. 
So again, I shot tethered and I always do that with clients. So a little, little pro tip here is if you're ever shooting for commercial or, or really anything for the most part, if you can shoot tethered either to a laptop or uh, even a larger computer if possible, yeah. that puts you in a whole different league of, of most of your local oh, photographers. Okay. Great tip. Yeah. This, this group it was just blown away because typically most photographers are shooting and then you know turning yeah. around to see this tiny little two inch yeah. LCD, but we were shooting on a, a Mac Air, which is still really compact, but we were able to zoom really far into the images so we could pan around and see all the details. And they were just wowed. No one had ever done that for them mm. before. So if you want to differentiate yourself, believe me, if you can just bring a laptop or I've actually brought my 27 inch uh, iMac before to shoots oh, as well. Okay. Uh, kind of puts you in a different yeah, league. That's an awesome tip. So why did you have, was it nine images? Did you say? So the problem with that shot is it was so dark in that uh, room. It, it was really dark. Okay. So I brought a bunch of alien bees lights and other things that I had to shoot from various angles across the room to light up the different yeah. pieces. But believe it or not, I, uh, I didn't, I didn't remember to bring a flashlight, which is kind of a must must have for interiors if you're an architecture okay. photographer. So I kind of 007'd it yeah. and I literally brought my iPhone. And what I would do is I would set up the, uh, the exposure. I think they were maybe 10 second long exposures to properly expose. And I would just turn on the front flashlight uh, of the, yeah. the iPhone and I would run into the shot and then I would just use the iPhone to paint over each individual booth. Okay. And that light would actually light the individual booth space. So then I would come back and I actually had the, um, the gal from the uh, design agency and I would literally have her click the button on the laptop every time I was ready to shoot the next oh, shot. Wow. So I'd shoot that, we'd start a new exposure and then I'd go and light the next booth and light the next booth, light the next booth. So we did that on all six booths. I did it on this grill on the uh, camera right. I did it on the front table. So collectively... I couldn't have done that without showing up in the frame. Mm. So I couldn't have done that on one single you know, really long yeah. image. So each of those was composited in afterwards for each of the booths since they were all light wow. painted. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really yeah. cool, but uh, it took a little while. Um, and, uh, otherwise, there wasn't a whole lot of post done. It was mostly just blending in this booth, this booth, this booth. And the base exposure didn't yeah. change because the light was yeah. controlled. No, that's yeah. that's incredible. So, so, I mean, you obviously knew what your client wanted or knew what you wanted, and then you just figured right. out how do you do it? How do you light up each individual area when you actually don't have the lights on set to flash all at once? So, that's a that's a great right. tip over there. And I did have all the lights, oh, okay. so I brought five or six different strobe lights yeah. with me and stands and triggers, and I I tend to load a bunch of yeah. gear. The problem is that I wouldn't have been able to shoot without all the yeah. gear showing up yeah. all the way across the <laughs> yep. room. So that's why we had to yeah. kind of do that that light okay. trick, which awesome. is pretty helpful. And then let's yeah. go to the, the last yep. one. So that's another inside spread, looks like. Right. Yep. And then really the the other valuable lesson just to see the rest of this inside spread was just the, the diversity of all of the images. This place was huge and every little nook and cranny was, was so vastly mm -hmm. different that... I think it was helpful to have a couple sets of eyes on it. So I'd say another tip is if possible, you know, definitely work with the client if they're willing to come with you. Not many will just release you and, and hope that it comes out well, but really working with the client. So literally the, the agent who was there, um, one of the other gals that works there, as I was shooting, I mean, we would go back and look at the laptop every single time and go, okay, what do you think about this? And she would say, I need this area a little bit brighter. This is a little dark. Can you, can you, you know, kind of fade some light in over here? This needs to be more red. So, you know, really dialing in an image with the client was really, really helpful. Yeah, that's a great tip. Awesome, Michael. Yeah. I mean, those are amazing images. And thanks for sharing the story behind how you took them. And sure. Pleasure. <laughs> that's awesome. Thanks. Create. Teach us how to create something. So maybe a few more tips on commercial photography that someone listening to this might want sure. to know. Right. So... A couple things. Um, I think first and foremost, a lot of the photographers that I know and I shoot with, and I'd say that is a big tip, is get to know other photographers in your area. I know that's that's probably a, a basic 101 thing, but as with any business, you know, everyone starts off fresh. Everybody, you know, doesn't have all the answers. So with me learning how to price, how to put together licensing contracts, hell, I didn't know how to do all that stuff. That was new to me. 
Um, so I reached out to other commercial photographers, of course, ones that didn't compete in the same uh, in the same spaces, and they were more than you know than happy as long as I didn't infringe upon their uh, you know their mm-hmm. clients. Uh, they were more than happy to share that wealth. So, you know, how do I go about pricing this if they're going to need four images? It's going to take me six hours, and they're going to run in a a magazine for six months. Mm-hmm. So, one quick tip there there's a software that you can do a free trial for called blink bid okay. and it's blink like your yeah. eyes blink and then bid b-i-d yeah. and it's phenomenal so basically the way it works is you're able to input the type of category you're shooting yeah. in the type of license the client needs so in this case you know this was the um kind of hotel restaurant category uh, these guys needed a uh, an editorial license because they were going to run it in magazines, which, you know, they were able to get it on the front cover of one. And basically you just input all your details all the way down. It's, it's, it brings up things I never would have thought of. So it, it does a lot of the work for you. And then when you hit enter, it spits out a suggested quote based on, you know, the rest of the market. Okay. So they actually, so, so that narrowed down. So they actually get information from the other photographers using the software to know what the average spend is or how do they, Okay. Right. They they also work with um, you know major photography um, communities as okay. well that you know all work towards the industry. So they they kind of it's for the embetterment of photographers to make sure they're getting yeah. their due you yeah, know that's... cut do you know their due uh, cost there. So a lot of the times it's much higher than you would expect if you're just yeah. trying to you know choose it oh, yourself. That's, that's great. There actually used to be yeah. a a uh, software little plug-in on one of the websites i can't remember and i used to go there to have a look it used to be a free thing i think it was in the commercial photographers of america association or something like that and that's where i used to get my sure. information but i couldn't find it the other day i had someone in my community ask you know how much to charge for mm. a certain shoot and I, I looked around the web i couldn't definitely couldn't find it but that's a great tip blink bid i think that's i'll see if i can look that up actually because it's it would be valuable to have and then i'll share that with you so you can put it in the video because that'd be a really really good link to have and they have a lot of free tutorials and free talks and you know things like that as well well that's awesome man that was a great interview with mike man he's got the wickedest beard ever i love (laughs) that bad boy man seriously but and wouldn't let me have that would you hun (laughs) <laughs> no, nah, he wouldn't. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to join him. See? Really? Oh man, you've only got about five years to go, bro. Well, this is like a month's growth. For me. I know, man. You grow so slow. That's why there's no hair up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't grow. No, no, it doesn't. No, no, it's all over here. Oh man, it's a great yeah. interview. What great tips on commercial photography, mate? Yeah, Mike is an expert at commercial photography, and um, you know, I love the story he tells of that that magazine cover, the spread, mm-hmm. and. Ah, just uh, that restaurant, just crazy. It's a, just it looks amazing, man. Yeah. Like you said, like every little nook and cranny, there was something different you could see. And find. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's awesome. It makes a great place to awesome. photograph. And that's tips he gave for commercial photography. Thank you, Mike. That's that's amazing. Yeah. yeah awesome. It was great, man. Another epic show. Mike, you're a legend. Thanks yeah. for being on. And guys, if you want to contact us, uh, we're going to be in the lounge always. We're always there. Yeah, buddy. yeah, totally. And you can also hit me up on the Twitter. It's uh, I-J-O-H-N-Y. There'll be a link in the notes below. If you love the show, what yep. are they going to do? Give us a rating on iTunes. And by the way, guys, uh, Mike's got a special for you oh, yeah. um, from his if your website, Hacking Photography. So, Hacking Photography. <laughs> and basically, Hacking Photography is uh, quick hacks for learning fast. That's what he says. Basically, you're taking the 80-20 rule and just the things you need to know to actually learn really fast. I love his website. It's awesome. And he's got these Lightroom presets that, that we got a discount on. So just click on the link above or below wherever it is one day we'll work out where the links yeah will i be. don't know yeah <laughs> yeah man they're awesome presets i've checked them out already so uh yeah man jump in and grab them because uh, awesome yeah a special deal for us man which is epic definitely definitely and um yeah that's about it guys for the show yeah, another yeah. great show man and we hope you enjoyed it and as always leave some feedback in the comments and uh we'll see you next week and oh one more last thing yeah. I, I actually interviewed mike for my photo Ooh, profit yeah. podcast so if you do want to know more about commercial photography all the little things that you need to mm-hmm. do to actually have a successful business, uh-huh. go to Photo Profit, uh, my podcast, my audio only podcast. And Mike and I spoke for about over an hour, actually. That's crazy. And he gave That's crazy, lots and lots of great information on, on how to run a successful commercial photography business. And if you're just starting out, what to do. 
Yeah, man, that stuff is priceless, yeah. guys. And if, if you're ready to jump from amateur to pro, which all that means is you start getting paid for being a photographer, make sure you check out Brent's podcast because that's what it's all about, isn't yeah, it, buddy? Totally. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, living, you know, making money out of your passion. That's it. Really. Which is awesome, man. What a great topic. Awesome, guys. Oh. All right, guys, take it easy and have a great week. <laughs> See, you See you next, next week. week. Bye. To find out more, go to shareinspirecreate.com. Awesome, guys. Oh. Well, catch you next week. <laughs> Off <Wait>. the pause. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy and have a great week. See you, See next, you next week. week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You're laughing, bro.